In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. We offer our celebration this morning to celebrate the Feast of the Trinity. In celebrating the Trinity, we are proclaiming the Spirit as the means whereby the persons of the Trinity may love one another. So let us ask today for the gift of that same Spirit, so that we may learn to love God and one another in a way that will change us and the world. And so let us ask of God in the words of the Collect for Purity, the gift of the Spirit. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God the Father forgives us in Christ and heals us by the Spirit. Let us therefore put away all anger and bitterness all slander and malice, and confess our sins to God our Redeemer. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, we are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy upon you pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you with all goodness, and keep you in life eternal, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. Holy God, faithful and unchanging, enlarge our minds with the knowledge of your truth and draw us more deeply into the mystery of your love, that we may truly worship you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We sit for the reading. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, put things in order. Listen to my appeal. Agree with one another. <clears throat> Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the saints greet you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. May the Lord be on my heart and on my lips that I may worthily proclaim this holy gospel in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, 
and to the Holy Spirit, one God who was and who is and who is to come, the Almighty. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go there and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always, to the end of the age. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. There will, as usual, be a homily recorded separately that you can listen to after you have watched the service and participated in this. So, now, we proclaim our faith. We believe in one God, the Father, of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made. Of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made a man. For our sake he was crucified on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In the name of the Father and in the power of the Spirit, let us pray to the Lord. For the whole people of God, who, having been baptised in the name of the Trinity, and called into God's community of love, that they may reveal his love to one another and those outside his church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the people of God who make up the community of St Mary's, that we may learn acceptance of one another's difficulties and grow in fellowship and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the community of nations and for communities within nations, that they may learn respect for one another and find ways to live in harmony and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those whose community is born of adversity, among them the homeless, the lonely and the bereaved, that they may find a place to rest their head, their heart and their grief. 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who have asked for our prayers and whose names are on our website, that God will touch them with his love and strengthen them with his power and make them aware of his presence in their daily lives. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who have moved from this earthly community through the gate and grave of death, that they may be welcomed into the community of the church triumphant and the glory of their God and ours. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Holy God, holy and immortal, at the heart of whose nature is loving relationship. Welcome us all one day into your presence and spread out your arms to embrace us as you spread them out to save us. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Peace to you, God our Heavenly Father, peace from his Son, Jesus Christ, who is our peace, peace from the Holy Spirit, the light of And so may the peace of the triune God be always with you. And also with you. If you are watching this with a member of your family, do please exchange the peace with each other. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us the cup of salvation. Blessed be God. Lord, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord. All that you reveal of your glory, the same we believe of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, without any difference or inequality. We, 
your holy church acclaim you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all worship, and the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. Three persons we adore, one in being and equal in majesty. And so with angels and archangels, with cherubim and seraphim, we sing for ever of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. And so, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world. Rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we, in the company of Our Lady Mary, Alban, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you forever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, almighty God, for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus taught us to call God Father, and so we have the confidence to say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Jesus, bearer of our sins, have mercy on us. Jesus, Redeemer of the world, grant us Draw near with faith, 
receive the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, which he gave for you, and his blood which he shed for you. Eat and drink in remembrance that he died for you, and feed on him in your heart by faith with thanksgiving. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. 